you're looking for answers on everything Ticketmaster Verified Fan Related, you've come to the right place. I'm going to go over everything you need to know to make sure that you're prepared for your next Ticketmaster Verified Fan presale. All these questions were asked by you, so I figure why not answer it in one great place to make sure all of you get the same information. Let's go. Hello, hello. My name's Shiraz here on Thumbs Up Run, where we talk buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you can have all the fun with your tickets. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little bell below to make sure that you stay tuned on everything coming up on this channel so that you don't miss out on buying tickets ever again. Now, like I said, this is all about Ticketmaster Verified Fan Pre-Sales. So if you don't actually know what it is, I actually have a video already. You can go ahead, check that out. I'll put it up in the little card icon. Go ahead, take a look at it. You'll learn all about it. But for those who are a bit too lazy and don't really feel like it, all you really need to know is that a Ticketmaster Verified Fan Pre-Sale is basically Ticketmaster's way of trying to find the true fans who want to go to all these different events. They'll run their own pre-sale. They'll send out a code. You'll go in, buy the tickets. All is well. And that's all you need to know. Now, there are a few different tips and tricks on making sure that you get these tickets, and that's what I want to cover today. All right, with all that intro nonsense out of the way, let's get into all of your questions. All right, first off, we got Sarah Saw here. She says, hi. Hi. For Verified Fan Presale, can I create multiple accounts using the same number to have a better chance at getting the presale code, or will that affect my chances of getting it? Great question, Sarah. So the official answer from Ticketmaster is, and it's very clearly stated actually in their terms of service, if you attempt to use Ticketmaster with more than one account, they basically frown upon it, they don't allow it, it's basically you're breaking their terms of service, and your account could be cancelled, your ticket orders could be cancelled, many doom and gloom things could happen to you. So they say, don't do it, it's bad, only use your one account, don't do any Anything with multiple accounts. Fantastic. Our next question comes from Ali Corridor. Corridor? Corridor? Hopefully I'm getting this right. If I'm not, let me know. And Ali says, is it okay to register for both the member fan club presale and the normal fan verified presale with the same account? Answer to that, yes. Ticketmaster, they've actually addressed this directly. They say go ahead, apply for both of them. There is no downside to doing so. When you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because there's not necessarily a guarantee that you'll get one verified fan presale over the other. So if you apply for both of them, it gives you the best opportunity to actually get verified. There's obviously a lot of people who want to apply for verified tickets, so it's important that you give yourself the best chance possible by applying for both. If you use the same information for both, that's perfectly fine. Like I said, there's a lot of people applying. You need to give yourself the best chance possible. All right, moving right along here. Next question's all about different devices that we're using to actually buy the tickets. We have a question here from C.O.K. Jin. C.O. Jin? I'm so sorry. I, I, I apologize. S. Kim. S. Kim says, could you talk about like refreshing? Because lots of different YouTube videos say different things for refreshing. And I'm not sure when to refresh and when not to or if I'm supposed to at all. Excellent, excellent question. In the past, Ticketmaster, what they used to do, if you had a fast connection and you were really good at refreshing, you could actually end up getting in front of other people by refreshing right at 10 o'clock when tickets went on sale. Go ahead, jump the queue, hit the button, buy those tickets, get ahead of everyone you want. You were the best, fantastic, you could beat anyone you wanted. Now with the new process, especially with the smart queue and the waiting room, all these things that Ticketmaster has implemented, refreshing is now a thing of the past. It doesn't actually do anything for you. In fact, it can only make things potentially worse. Do not refresh. You could potentially run into different errors. Others that might think that you're trying to use, you know, multiple pages. You could potentially lose your spot in line. A lot of bad things can happen. Now, with that being said, the only time I would say go ahead and actually refresh would be if you're at the end of the queue, you're number one in line. It says you're up next. Congratulations. And then the page just hangs. If you run into that, give it a minute, give it a second minute be patient if it still doesn't load though then i would say okay go ahead refresh see if that will kickstart things and get you into the actual ticket buying process otherwise though do not refresh ever at all just just don't do it all right moving right along here we're going to jump into our next question how many times you can use a verified fan pre-sale code so june prague june prague asked the following this video is really helpful oh you're welcome thank you so much you're welcome again. I have a question about pre-sale code. Uh, does it affect location? When I did register, I picked the show location in LA. If I get the code, do I have to use the code only for the LA show or can I use the code at different locations to get tickets? I'm super new about Ticketmaster, but all your videos are really helpful. Thanks again. You're welcome once again. If you get a code normally, now this is the normal situation, you can only use the code for the event that you've applied for because the code is tied directly to that event. Now, with that being said, it's very important you pay attention to the fine print for each verified fan presale that happens. Because if you are gonna apply for a verified fan presale code for BTS, 
the code itself is not tied to that one event. Yes, you're picking your, you know, your desired number one event that you want to attend, but if you do get a code, it's actually valid at any of the other shows. With that being said, they're only valid for two tickets per show. So make sure that you kind of keep that in mind, stick to the limit, don't go over it because it won't let you check out. Now, next one, not a question, but remember, if you like this video, be sure to smash the like button. All right, now this next question I think is actually a very, very important one. So pay close attention. Sonny Peters has a question. Hi. Hi. Do you happen to know for fan verified pre-sales if you're allowed to be on multiple devices? Excellent. Excellent question. Very important. Pay close attention because this, this will apply to all of you. If you're trying to buy tickets for an event and you open up another tab and try and use, you know, your phone and then you try and use your laptop to make sure that you can, you know, potentially get a really good spot in the queue, you're going to run into some problems. With Ticketmaster Verified Fan Presales, the way it works is when you're trying to join the waiting room, what you actually have to do beforehand is log into your account. When you log into your account, it's actually going to make sure that the account that you're signing up with has been verified already. Even though you haven't put your code in yet, they know that your account has been verified. Anyone who's not verified, they will not be able to get into the waiting room. Fantastic. Now, the problem you're gonna run into is if you try and log in on the same account in multiple devices for a verified fan presale. The issue you run into is that the first instance that you log in and actually get into the queue, that is gonna be your main number one waiting room. Now, if you open it up in a second device and try again, join the same event, what you're gonna run into is an error. It's gonna say, hey, you've already joined the queue. Please return to your original device to complete your purchase. So, I mean, it makes sense. They don't wanna have someone with, you know, 500 different queue spots all for the same account trying to get tickets because it just makes an unfair advantage if they can do that versus someone who cannot. And again, they want to make sure that tickets get into the hands of as many fans as possible. So what do I say? Do not do this. Do not do it. Don't do it. Do not jump in, open up multiple devices and multiple tabs to make sure you get into the presale. Only use one because the worst thing that can happen, the absolute worst case scenario is that if you open up the second window and maybe you happen to close the first window, you're done. You're screwed. You can't, you can't complete your purchase anymore because the first one that you opened up, the first queue ID that was created when you joined that waiting room, that is the one that is going to be considered your official entry into the verified van pre-sale waiting room. So if you open up on a second one, you're gonna get this error. And then if you try and open up the first one now, it's it's too late, it's gone. You've deleted it, you've closed it. You can never get it back. The sad stuff starts to happen. You know, you, you can't get through the waiting room. You can't complete a purchase. There could be some other errors that come up. It, it, there's too many problems. It's not worth the effort. So for verified fan pre-sales, make sure you only have one tab open. All right, next question. Next question. Let's get this rolling. These are good. So Diana, Diana says, hi, very helpful. Hello. Glad it's helpful. For the BTS presale, do you know if we need an American Express card to purchase them? I've heard that's a thing for some of these presales. Thanks. To answer your question, no, you do not need an American Express credit card. And yes, it is true that there are American Express presales. With Ticketmaster Verified Fan presales, though, it does not matter which credit card you use. Uh, they're all valid. There is not a specific one that you require to complete your purchase. On an American Express presale, yes, you will need the American Express card, but this is not that. This is completely different. Therefore, it does not matter which card you use. All right, next one up. We got a question from Miraculous Love. Miraculous Love. I'm going to go with that. Miraculous Love. They ask, are the presale tickets transferable? Like if I had to buy them on my mom's account, would I be able to send the tickets to myself? The answer to this is it depends. I believe BTS is what you're asking about. So with BTS, yes, tickets are transferable. If you again read the fine print on the actual Ticketmaster verified fan presale signup pages, it explicitly states that on February 10th, tickets will be open to be transferred to friends and family and whoever they need to go to. Not a problem. With that being said, again, it's important to make sure you look at what the Ticketmaster page says as you're checking out. When you're with their process, some tickets may still be non-transferable. You generally see that with VIP or sound check or, you know, some of those special premium package type seats. Those ones you will normally find them tied to will cost specifically, so they're non-transferable from an account. But anything normal, any standard ticket from Ticketmaster, for this event at least, will be transferable. Again, make sure you read the fine print and all your verified fan presale signups to make sure that you get the best information possible. All right, and our last question of the day comes from Bangtan Sugar Cookies. This answered so many of my questions. Thank you very much. You're very, very welcome. Now, if I were trying to find a way to actually answer this type of statement, it would be to remind you to subscribe to this channel so that you always stay up to date on all your ticketing needs and making sure that you become the best buyers and sellers of tickets in the world. Got any other questions? Leave a comment below so I can answer all of them. I will answer every single one myself, even if there's a million of them. 
I dare you. I challenge you. Put a million questions. I'll answer one million times. These are facts. Trust me. I'll answer them. You ask, I'll answer. That's all I got. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a lot about Ticketmaster Verified Fan Presales. And see you guys 